we have come to the last week of sharing for our cybersecurity awareness. And next week, I'll be announcing on the next cybersecurity domain knowledge, which I'll bring the committee to gear up. The intention will be the same, to gear all interested professionals to the same level or establish the common understanding in cybersecurity. And we'll be moving from the basic and slowly moving up to the next and more technical and more in-depth about cybersecurity. There will be progressive steps and we'll not jump into something too technical or too dry for anyone who wants to start cybersecurity or increase their cybersecurity knowledge with the committee. In the previous few lessons, we have learned about all the different cybersecurity attacks. Enough of hearing from either side. We will then now move on to the discussion of who are the defenders in the cyberspace. The defenders are like the guardian angels and play an important role to keep the information safe in the cyberspace and also ensure these evildoers are balanced and managed. Sometimes companies do need malware to test on their systems and to ensure the competent level of their system is always high and active. But when such testing is being carried out, it will be in a controlled environment. And some companies do release phishing emails through their platform to test their company's staff. This is to ensure the staff are always on their alert and expose them to the latest and updated market trends. Regards to these phishing emails testing, some company will work with their HR, Human Resources Department, to better manage this. The staff that fail all these tests and all this training might need to undergo more training or might be officially given a warning. This seriousness will set the company in the right direction. We'll also be learning some cybersecurity tips as an employee. These tips will ensure basic cybersecurity measures are in place and you're aware of it. An include employee will have the ability to have a better understanding of the situation and better manage it. As a community, we do not just share about the individual. I also add in cybersecurity tips for management and IT departments as well. As some of us are top management and are serving in the IT department, this will ensure everyone will be learning something useful for today. Finally, we will touch on what conditions or situation someone should report or escalate up to their higher management. Some of the telltale signs will be covered as well. But before I go into sharing for today, do remember to subscribe, like, comment and share on this channel. Spread the words around. So, who are the defenders in the cyberspace? Let us take a look at the overall defense parties for the whole cybersecurity posture. For us to better understand all the parties of defenders, we will include those on the corporate sides of the cyber game as well. Firstly, we have the company cybersecurity team. They are the unsung heroes working behind the scene and normally they are the one to take the blame when things fail. The sad part of the scope for these unsung heroes will be that no credit goes to them when the system are up and running. Imagine you are doing your job well for the whole year, but when it comes to year-end appraisal or promotion and someone during that time in your company accidentally click on a phishing email and invites a ransomware attack. Your promotions and bonuses will be gone as well. Human is the weakest link and making sure they receive the sufficient and updated knowledge will be the job of the cyber team as well. Supporting the company cybersecurity team will always be the outsourced security vendors. Very often, they will be looked upon as the outsourced hands and legs of the company and they have a very close relationship. Many times, they are holding on to the administrator's access to the systems. So managing and selecting the outsourced vendors carefully is a key for this team as well. Then will be the governments that invest in growing talents and professionals to support the market. The government also come up with certain policy and guidelines which the companies need to follow. They will also implement 
laws and regulations to tie up certain loopholes and understanding in the market. The biggest impact government can give will be to provide grants and subsidiaries to the companies when they purchase cybersecurity products. This will drive and impact the economy as a whole. Service providers are important as the defenders as well. They are the ones who provide large internet pipes to protect the companies from DDoS attacks. And the most important will be the user. It is reported that 95% of cybersecurity breaches are due to human error. I keep stressing that humans is the weakest link. And very often, this is a group which people always miss them out. And most companies took over six months to notice a data breach in the systems. This can be due to the lack of cybersecurity professional or no budget to implement monitoring tools. Now, we'll be going through tips for individual. For password-wise, the best suggestions will be to use complex combinations. And the password is personal, so do not share with anyone else. For work-related password, do not even share with your family members. The best practice will be to change your password regularly and try not to store your password under computer cookies. When it comes to email, never and do not open email attachment from any unfamiliar sources. And always question yourself and others about the source even if it look official. A phishing emails, SMS scams, and WhatsApp scams are on the rise. Protecting yourselves and the company, you got the part to play. Coming to the software portion, never install personal software into your company network or hardware. Unless your company policy allows such installations, and if there's a need to install, always obtain permission from your company IT department. IT departments need to take note of this software as they need to get it patched in their system as well. Finally, on hardware, do not connect personal hardware to your company network or laptop. Always obtain permission from your company IT department. Any pen drive that comes from unknown source need to be cautioned as well. Always and never insert or try to read the content on, on this unknown pen drive using your company or your personal computer. You do not know if the content inside contains any malicious malware at all. Report all suspicious or unusual problems with your computer to your IT department. When it comes to tips for management and IT departments, it will be on a high level view and we will need to break them down into strategy, technical and operation levels for our easy understanding. Under the strategy position, it's always top management responsibility to implement defense in depth, a layer defense strategy. This is a high level strategy that shows the different protection which need to be in place at the different network structure. When we talk about technical strategy, it will be to implement technical defense. All this will be technology tools, including intrusion detection systems and internet content filtering. All the different components need to talk to each other. And finally, operation will be key. There are a few things to ensure. There's a need to check for all software updates daily and review them. Always maintain a regular updates from vendors on their security patches and ensure the manufacturer's default password are changed and not shared. And also monitor logs and analyze successful and attempted intrusions into your systems and networks. So now, let's take a look at what should I report as an end user? Or what are the things that I feel that will trigger for me to escalate and alert my IT team? The most obvious will be the sudden slowness of your laptop or system. This might be a sign that the system is failing but it can also mean that someone is disturbing or disrupting your systems. And the sudden change of the internet browser will be a fearful thing to note as well. The next thing to note will be to stop the path of social engineering. This is to ensure that the user will be very careful and not entertain any suspicious questioning from suspicious email or phone call. Now, the common one will be WhatsApp scam. 
when you realize that, that suddenly there's unauthorized access or change made to account, like your password or your photo, all these are signs that man in the middle attack already happened or your account is already been smooth. Do report to your IT team immediately. Keep your accounts and password closer to you and as dear as anything else. You can only prevent unauthorized access to your system if no one else is using your account, even your supervisor. We've come to the end of our cybersecurity awareness sharing. And I thank you for your commitment and time for the past five weeks. It's glad to be seeing cybersecurity professionals coming together to learn something new or recalling past cybersecurity knowledge to enhance their understanding. Always keep in mind that human is the weakest link in the game of cybersecurity. Therefore, it's our job and responsibility to ensure that we are aware of the attacks and news in the environment. I've also gotten feedback that some of you would like to have one video that combines all the past week's material. I'll be compiling them and posting the combined videos next week. Meanwhile, please continue to send me your feedback on the kind of information you would like me to share and I'll think about how to get it done for you. I will also like to take this opportunity to share that we have crossed over a thousand subscribers in just five months. This channel will not be able to make it or have come so far without your wonderful support. Let's keep the passion for learning cybersecurity strong. Do remember to subscribe, like and share. Spread the words around. I will see you soon.